Hello guys, welcome back to Seven Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily Seven Engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to find out the cutting length of the spiral for this column. This is any column with the dimensions given to us. The spiral is a transverse reinforcement used in the circular column. For the beam, we have the stirrups. For the rectangular or square column, we have the tie. But for the circular column, the transverse reinforcement is known as the spiral. So we have to find out the cutting length of the spiral. Now let's suppose this is a column with the diameter of 1.5 meter or 1500 millimeter with the concrete cover of 20 millimeter on each side. And there is a spiral used along the longitudinal reinforcement for resisting the lateral load or the confinement of the concrete. So this spiral has a bend of 135 degree. 135 degree bend is mostly used for resisting the seismic load or the earthquake load. And the diameter of the spiral is given to us which is 10 millimeter. So how to find out the cutting length of the spiral? So we can find out easily by simple this formula. The cutting length of the spiral for the pillar column or pier we can easily determine by this formula that cutting length of spiral is equal to the parameter or circumference of the inner circle parameter of inner circle and then plus parameter of inner circle means that the spiral circle adding with the total hook length minus total bend length. I will explain one by one in detail and also will solve this numerical problem in order to find out the cutting length for the spiral. So there are three unknown to us which is parameter of inner circle, the total hook length and the total bend length. So we will find one by one. The first one is the parameter of the inner circle represented by A, this is B, this is C. So we have to find three unknowns. So the first unknown is the parameter of the inner circle. So A is the parameter of inner circle. Which is equal to the circumference of the inner circle. Because parameter for the circle is also equal to the circumference of the circle. So we can also represent it. The parameter is also equal to the circumference of the circle. So, and we know that the parameter or the circumference for the circle has a formula of pi into d, where d is the diameter of the circle. In this case, we are interested in the inner circle because the spiral is along the inner circle, not along the outside circle. The outer circle has no spiral. That's why we don't need to calculate for the outer circle. So, pi d, pi is a constant which is 3.14. And D is the diameter of the inner circle is this circle, this diameter. We are interested in this small d. So we can calculate this small d by subtracting this big d from the concrete cover here and here. So d will be equal to the, the capital D, the diameter of the whole circle minus concrete cover on both sides. So 20 minus 20. Because this whole d, if we subtract the, this concrete cover and this concrete cover, we will get the small diameter of the circle which is for the inner circle. So the big D is diameter of 1500 millimeter minus 1020 is 40. So we get here 1460 millimeter. This is the diameter for the inner circle. So we get the D value. Now we will put the D value here in this equation to find out the parameter or the circumference of the inner circle. So this will become pi into D pi is 3.14, this is a constant value, multiplying it with the D, D is 1460, so we get here value of 4584 millimeter. Now we have to calculate the second unknown term which is total hook length is the B. So to calculate the total hook length, we have to use the standard. Now the hook length is the length of this spiral which is being bent. So this length is known as hook length which has been bent from this point up to this point. This length is known as hook length, this. If I represent it here, if this is the longitudinal reinforcement, 
So hook length is the length from this portion up to this portion. This is known as the hook length. Similarly, here it is also hooked. So this is also known as the hook length. So we have here two hook length. This is one hook length and this is the other hook length of the spiral. So in this case, to find out the total hook length, we have two hooks. Is One is this and one is this. So two hook length and for the one hook length, the standard is shown us one hook length. The standard has shown us to use the formula to find out the hook one hook length equal to the nine diameter of the bar. This is from the standards. So nine into D, nine into diameter of the bar is this 10 millimeter. This comes out to be 90 millimeter. But here we have two hook lengths. So two hook length will be equal to the 90 for one. We have two, so we multiplied it with the two, so we get 180 millimeter. So this is the total hook length in our case. Now the third one is the total bend length. Now according to the standard, if there is a 45 degree bend, length, bend we have to use the bend length of 1D or 1 diameter of the bar. If there is a 90 degree bend, so we will use the 2 diameter of the bar and if there is 135 degree bend, we have to use 3 diameter of the bar in order to calculate the bend length. So in this case, we have 135 degree, this bend is 135 degree. So if how this is 135 degree, if I want to explain, so let's consider this is the longitudinal bar and this is the bar which is being bent. So if I look, if I draw any reference line, so if I calculate from this, this is zero degree, if I draw the line, so it will be from this angle up to this, we have 135 degree. And similarly from this, if this is zero degree, so from this up to this, we have 135 degree. That's why they are called is 135 degree hook. So in our case, this is 135 degrees. So we have to find out the bend length is 3 into D. So in our case, it will be the total bend length will be equal to D. If there are two bend, one is in this direction and one is in this direction. So two multiply with the three diameter of the bar or we can say six diameter of the bar. 2 into 3, 6 in diameter and 6 into diameter of the bar is 10. So we got 60 millimeter. So we got the total bend length is the C. Total hook length is 180 millimeter and the perimeter of inner circle which is 4584 millimeter. We have all known perimeters. Now we can put in this formula in order to find out the cutting length of the spiral. So cutting length of the spiral. of spiral will become perimeter of inner circle which is 4, 5, 8, 4 millimeter plus total hook length B total hook length is 2 hooks so 180 millimeter minus total bend length which is 60 millimeter so by calculating by adding and subtracting we get here 4704 millimeter or we can say 4.704 meter. This is the way how to calculate the cutting length for any spiral used in the circular column. Hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.